Octo is back to cooking Android phones with a vengeance and this thin handset here is shaping up to be one of the most affordable and well-equipped Full HD 5 inches, not to mention the dual SIM option it offers. This is Daniel from Phone Arena showcasing you the Octo One Touch Idol X. From this season's flagship specs, uh, Octel skimped only on the relatively weak MediaTek processor inside, while the rest are top shelf ingredients, uh, big full HD display, 2GB of RAM, 30 megapixel camera on the back, all of these are wrapped up in a slim and very light body. All this is fine and dandy on paper, but uh, are we getting a high-end experience for a mid-range price in reality? Let's check that out now. We mentioned thin and light, and that's the exact first impression you get with the Idol X in your hand. It's 0.27 inches, 6.9 millimeters, make it one of the slimmest smartphones around and at 4.23 ounces, 120 grams, it is also one of the lightest. If you think this feat has been achieved by an all plastic build, Alcatel has a surprise in store for you. The back cover is indeed plastic, but the phone's frame is made of titanium alloy, allowing for structural rigidity, yet an extremely light package. That metal alloy wraps the phone around the sides, interrupted only with slim cutouts for the ports and buttons. We liked how the titanium rim is also slightly elevated above the front, so the recessed screen part is protected when lying face down on a flat surface. On the minus side, that means dust and pocket lint get uh, trapped towards the end really easily, instead of being simply wiped out. The polycarbonate back comes in black, red or yellow and doesn't feel too cheap, though a soft touch plastic would have been a more premium match for the chassis. The phone is rather narrow for a 5 incher at 2.66 inches, 67 millimeters, due to what Alcatel calls zero bezel, which is actually just uh, 2.4 millimeters on the left and right. That's one of the best achievements uh, out there, even thinner than the 2.65 millimeters side bezel of the LG G2, for example, which explains uh, why the elongated design of the Ida X is uh, so easy to operate with one hand compared to most other big screen phones. To put things in perspective, the Ido X is taller, but thinner, lighter and more narrow than both the Galaxy S4 and the LG G2. Granted, the top and bottom bezels are fairly wide, but uh, it's the side ones and the overall width that matter in one-handed operation. Our only gripe with the design decisions around Alcatel's new flagship is the power lock key placed at the top, making it uh, a literal stretch to press on such a tall handset. Both the lock key up top and the volume rocker on the right, however, are easy to feel and press, with decent uh, tactile feedback. The sides also house two card slots. In our dual SIM version, they are both for the carrier micro SIM cards, whereas with the single SIM you, you get the SIM slot and a micro SD one. Yep, since we have a unibody phone, that means you don't get storage expansion with the dual SIM variant of the Ido X though it comes with 16GB of internal memory, double the amount of the single SIM handset. The protective flaps that cover those two card slots on both sides come with uh, an orthodox design. They're completely flush with the metal rim around the phone, with only a small pimple protruding at their upper parts here. When you drag it with your nail fingertip, the flap opens up, so you can insert uh, the SIM on memory card. Then you can slap it back down and a tiny magnet at the other end locks it in place keeping it flush with the side surface and almost invisible. The problem part here is actually inserting the SIM card, as the instruction drawing on the flaps is hardly visible and hard to read correctly. Even when you find the correct position for the card to go in, you need to push it really deep until it clicks into place, a task that is very hard with uh, trimmed fingernails, for in instance. There are three capacitive navigational keys beneath the display, which are not the most responsive we've tried, but do the job. They're thankfully backlit and the white light sipping through matches the small LED notification dot next to the earpiece slit that lets you know the phone is charging or informs you of missed events like calls and messages. There is also a 2 megapixel front camera up there as well as an ambient light sensor which works like a charm, dimming the display gradually when the light goes down or blasting it up outdoors. The 5-inch 1080 by 1920 pixels panel is of the laminated IPS LCD variety, meaning a tight, bright, low reflection package integrating the touch layer into the display itself. Its protection is guaranteed by the durable Asahi Dragon Trail glass, which is similar to Corning's Gorilla glass. 
with uh, 441 ppi pixel density the screen is a piece of beauty showing no icon or text jaggies even if you explore it up close and personal its color saturation seems a bit subdued and the tones themselves a bit on the warm side but nothing out of the range for one very good smartphone display the screen is very bright and with good reflection coating make, meaning you won't have troubles viewing it outside even under direct sunlight brightness and color shift slightly at extreme viewing angles but again nothing out of the norms for a good IPS LCD screen so overall the IDOX X is graced with one excellent 5 inch Full HD panel Alcatel supplies a tidy one touch Android interface overlay on top of 4.2.2 Jelly Bean its uh, general looks are not far from the stock experience with the lock screen contacts wallpaper and notification bar graphics uh, closely matching it the lock screen shows date, time and weather or calendar and you can swipe back and forth between the two without uh, unlocking it. The icons however are big, rounded and colorful, begging to be pressed, there's no app drawer icon. So if you want to call it you'd have to flick up from the bottom of the display. The most used apps uh, have shortcuts placed directly on the home screens by default and the rest neatly arranged into categorized Google services, productivity, assistance, tools and games folders there. Those folders are heavily popula populated with uh, pre-installed stuff from a torch app through two offices uh, to a few game loft titles. Alcatel also throws in a few pretty hand-picked widgets for your weather contacts and calendar duties which look much better than the stock ones as well as the excellent uh, swift key keyboard option. The dock uh, contains four icon shortcuts which can be rearranged and replaced to your heart's desire and that about sums up the interface customizations Alcatel has prepped since we have uh, a dual SIM device here. The company has ensured the SIM management app is present as well which lets you name and color your two connections as you please and also you can set roaming preferences and restrictions for them. The weakest spot uh, of the OneTouch IDO X is its chipset. The 1.5 GHz quad-core MediaTek processor is a frugal Cortex-A7 work and not up to par with even the current uh, low-end Qualcomm Snapdragons. But uh, something had to give to arrive at this uh, phone's price. As you can see from the benchmarks, you won't have blistering performance while working the interface and uh, heavy 3D games will be playable only with patience. Thankfully, Alcatel has placed 2 gigs of RAM in the handset, aiding multitasking and uh, loading times. 8 gigabytes of internal memory plus a microSD slot are present on the IDO X version with one SIM card, whereas our dual SIM version doesn't leave place for memory card but comes with uh, 16 gigabytes of storage, of which 12.75 uh, are user available right out of the box. The stock browser on the handset renders pages pretty fast. And we had no issues with choppy scrolling or laggy panning. Despite the relatively weak chipset, the browser is primed to render the pages in real time while zooming in and out. And the task is handled remarkably well, with uh, barely a blur while zooming or panning. In addition, all text content looks pretty and legible on such high pixel density even when zoomed out. While text reflow works like a charm, snapping the right columns into the screen with uh, immediately. There's little skimping on connectivity options with Alcatel's finest. The IDO X supports uh, 42 megabits per second HSP plus download speeds and HD voice. If your European Asian carrier can supply those, of course. The two SIM cards can't hook up simultaneously on such speeds, but you can gobble fast data on one while talking with the other. The cards are also hot swappable, meaning you don't have to reboot the handset when inserting a new SIM card or taking one out. The phone just reloads the launcher, asks for your PIN if your card has one, and that's that. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.0, assisted GPS, Wi-Fi Direct, DONA, and FM radio round up the other connectivity options uh, with about the only thing missing being NFC, if you're going to miss that at all. Alcatel also offers a dongle that plugs into the HDMI port of your TV, and you can stream videos and other media wirelessly from the IDO X. The gallery sports grid thumbnail view and offers a rich variety of uh, photo enhancement and editing options built into the interface. You can share its content uh, through no less than 13 different services, including Evernote and Office Suite's uh, Wi-Fi Direct option. 
Music playback is categorized by artists, albums, genres, and playlists in the player interface. And there are a bunch of uh, equalizer presets to apply. The pass boost and uh, false around 3D sound options are only available when you plug in the headset. We get a pretty decent loudspeaker with the Ido X, despite the slim body, which is strong and sounds relatively clean. Video playback support is stellar, with uh, DivX, XVD, MKV files all playing without a hitch in up to 1080p resolutions. The player itself is uh, rather bare-boned though, with just an extra loop function, so we'd recommend to quickly pawn off the video footage playback to third-party Play Store apps. The 13 megapixel shooter on the back of the Ido X is paired with uh, an LED flash and we get a 2 megapixel camera at the front with uh, something Alcatel calls emoji shots which takes 4 slow successive photos of your expression giving you the time to adjust for the perfect selfie to rival that of Miley Cyrus. There's also a beauty face option with the full HD front facing cam that smooths out uh, skin tones and removes blemishes. The camera app interface is very intuitive and with a transparent background so you can always follow the frame in front of your lens. There are HDR, panorama, 360, night and sports shooting modes, while from the more advanced settings only ISO that's up to 1600 and exporter adjustment sliders are present. There aren't any color effects to apply if you're into those, so you'd have to probe the Play Store for a third party app. The pictures come out with appealing, oversaturated colors. There aren't any glaring uh, white balance or exposure calculation issues, so overall the phone takes pretty good photos when there's enough light to shine on the scene. However, the amount of detail is somewhat lower than what we'd expect from a 13 megapixel shooter. Alcatel says that uh, the super macro lens keep objects sharp from as close as 5 cm to inches, but in reality we got sharp results from about 10 cm 4 inches, which is still a quite decent result. When it gets dark, the photos come out rising noisy and blurry, though nothing out of the ordinary for a phone camera, and we'd recommend to turn on the night mode for better low light results. Video gets captured with Full HD 1080p resolution and fluid 30 frames per second, it exhibits the same oversaturation as the stills, making the footage uh, look more vivid than it actually is. Exposure adjustments while panning around happen quickly and the handset supports continuous autofocus, though shifting the focus back and forth between a close object and the background happens uh, within 2 or 3 seconds sometimes. Alcatel has managed to produce an excellent handset with the OneTouch Ido X. It is the thinnest, lightest and one of the cheapest 5-inch handsets with Full HD displays, which are all the rage these days. You'd be hard-pressed to find a more affordable high-res 5-incher, with about the only so-so point being the relatively weak MediaTek chipset inside. Other than that, uh, the Ido X gets you a luminant, 1080 by 1920 pixel display, fine photos and videos, good call quality, which is pretty important for those in handset. And all of this is wrapped up in a compact, elegant package that eases one-handed operation. In the end, we have to recommend wholeheartedly the Ido X. Even the single SIM version is worth its about $350 asking price, while with a dual SIM option the phone becomes unstoppable, one of the best Android values for the money. The dual SIM Oppo R819 is a prime competitor for a similar price, but it is about as big as the Ido X, yet with a smaller display and lower resolution. This was a video review of the Alcatel OneTouch Ido X. From Phone Arena, for more information about this and other handsets, you can visit us at phonearena.com. Thanks for watching.